to Cubase from scratch. My name is Jeff. I'm going to take you through as much knowledge as I can in the next uh, several hours. Um, Cubase is a music production program, a DAW, a Digi Digital Audio Workstation. Um, it's one of the best programs I've found for working with MIDI and VST instruments as well as audio. Um, I know a lot of people like Ableton Live or uh, Logic or Pro, Pro Tools. Um, I've been using Cubase for about 30 years and I can tell you it's very, very powerful. There's a lot built in here. So let's get started. When you first open up Cubase, you're gonna see the hub, the Steinberg hub. I pretty much n ignore everything over here except for uh, occasionally I'll notice that there's a, an update. Uh, the, the most important thing in the hub is on the right hand side. You can see here it lists out your recent tracks uh, that you've worked on and I uh, have trouble coming up with names for tracks, so I just name it for the date so I can remember when I worked on it. Uh, you have here uh, some built-in templates. So here you can see uh, we got a Steinberg multi-channel recording, um, and this is specific to my audio interface. I have an MR816 CSX 8-channel audio interface, so I have some presets um, specific to that interface. Um, then here's some generic ones, so you can see that you know if you want to do 24 mono channels or um, acoustic guitar, piano and vocal, has some built-in templates. Um, scoring, obviously if you want to write music for piano or string quartet, never uh, use most of that stuff, guitar layout and that kind of stuff. Um, there's some production templates, so if you have a look through these, you can open them up, mess around. Um, I've used the mastering template occasionally, it's not too bad. Um, really the most important thing that I tend to look at is the recent files and this is you know what I've been working on and then there's more you have an empty track and then you can see here I have a, uh, a template we'll get into that later how to make a template but here's the most important thing before you actually start working this is a really interesting point about Cubase is most people just skip right over this but here's where you're gonna store your project files so if you have a uh, you know, a secondary external drive, make sure you pick that. I always work in, in my tracks folder. Um, and I usually, before you get started, this will come back to bite you later. If you just start a bunch of projects and they just have a random name, um, you can have audio uh, that you recorded not be in your project folder. It can be really confusing. And this is a little bit of a pain to change later. So always start out by uh, setting your project folder. So I'm just going to create a new one called uh, Cubase demo okay now in this what you're going to want to do is um, just basically go and hit um, create empty or you can click this and hit create um, and what it's going to do is going to create an empty project in a folder named Cubase demo in, the, in my D drive so we're just going to start with an empty project because we're doing this from scratch so that covers the hub. Now at this point you might notice like I created a project folder and I have an empty project here in Cubase but you can see it's actually untitled one. So usually what I do right off the bat is I'll come into um, save and I'll just save this empty project file and I'll name it Cubase demo.cpr and it'll now you can see it's saving in this folder but now I actually have a Cubase file. Um, uh, this has come back to bite me in the past as well if you you know work for a while and you're still un un untitled your computer crashes um, Cubase will save a backup file so you can get lucky with that but one of the things we're going to do is save everything often so this is the main window in Cubase and I, I have two monitors so I have my my mixer as on my other screen if I bring that over you can see it um, we have a stereo input and a stereo output we have a fader here for that and you have an inspector. This is the track inspector area. Everything that you uh, work with when you have selected over here in the main timeline, it's gonna show up uh, over here, what you're working with. And these uh, input output channels here, these, this is a folder. So you can see we have a, a stereo output and that corresponds with this stereo output channel. Now, when you select this track, you can see now we have an inspector now we're working with this track. If I unselect that, it's a little bit hard to do once something's selected, but 
you can see there's different settings in the inspector depending on what you have selected over here. So the next thing we want to do is obviously um, just get started with some 